hello students today i will teach you how to display the records from the mysql database into j table okay thank you for watching this video and please subscribe to my channel root 4m gtv let's go into the activities okay fine so look at this uh, i have a java frame uh, pre designed uh, java frame have five fields and some few buttons add button search and uh, update and we have exit as well so first i will design how to implement uh, j table okay if you go to your tool sections you can see lots of uh, options under components you can find java table just click it and don't drop just like that there okay first you have to draw like this otherwise you cannot able to see it properly okay you can expand as you wish so i just expand it uh, now we have to configure this um, table table usually have rows and columns so that we have to make it so go to under your property window select model and in this model you have to uh, create number of columns and rows and give the name of the columns okay rows is not required uh, the columns are most important you know already here we have five fields we have so five columns should be so you can just click here five columns and then look if you want to change this column names it's not possible directly so for that purpose i'm increasing one row and now if you click one by one you can change each column's name okay first column name in my case it is student id second column name is name of the student third is subject one subject one fourth is subject two fifth is subject three subject three that's it so uh, it's not required to have uh, now you can just delete also doesn't matter um, or you can have rows also it doesn't matter okay just i will not keep any row so that you can see in the final how rows are created by itself and click ok right so then what you have to do is right click the j table and select surround with java scroll pan the moment you click java's pan scroll pan automatically you can see the field names okay that means the column names which we have given right now then the moment uh, the uh, increment of all the records uh, shows here automatically the horizontal and vertical scroll bar will appear here okay to fetch the record uh, from the mysql database i need one button as well so i just put a button here and name it as variable name that is button 5 already i have four numbers of buttons so five buttons fifth button i just mentioned 
okay then give the name for the button fetch data okay fine now the most important is you need one library file and I will show you where is that file is and how to link this is actually my Java class file under here I have references as you can see here already I have MySQL connector here similarly to fetch the data from the MySQL database into J table you need one another library file called record set that is rs to xml.jr this one you can download from internet for free just type uh, rs to xml in uh, google and then the first link it will come from there itself you can download directly now i will show you how to include this library file here so go to your project this is a project right click the project and click properties and then click java build path and click the tab libraries and click options here add java external jar, java jar file and so on so click uh, add external java and then i uh, stored somewhere here and then click OK that is open and then it will come here and then click apply and close okay that's it this is uh, most important for fetching the records from the SQL there are other ways as well to do that but this is one is very very simple way so that's why I am using this for your purpose okay now we have to go for coding before coding I let me increase the size of this button and make it bold maybe it's all okay it's fine all right double click this uh, fetch data button and go here under action perform you need some few things which already existed in the coding part look always whenever you are connecting with the MySQL so in the try block you will find same uh, connections will be usable okay so I'm just copying that and put here let me bring the cache block as well okay let me take this cache block from here okay okay now uh, now we can write the important coding for fetching the record okay and before that you need one import statement which is going to show you how to utilize the rs2 xml jar file so this is the import statement after import net dot routine it dot sql dot db utils okay so this db utils we will use in the program so this one should be there through this only it can able to fetch the uh, library file for the references okay let me go to the coding area okay here what you have to do is you have to give the SQL command so start with string SQL 
that is equal to what we are going to do we are going to fetch the record from the table from the database table so select command should be used select all the ta all the table all the tables records right i mean uh, all the columns records so you start from uh, my table name is details okay that's it and and you have to follow with prepared statement and if you don't like to type you can directly copy also uh, see here copy and paste it here and then again I need another uh, uh, code uh, you can uh, fetch this code from here okay record set this is also one of the library record set we have imported that statement already okay right this is also done now the most important we have to refer the uh, what is that uh, j tables name variables name okay so in my case uh, I just kept it uh, let me find out okay wait a minute Okay, let me see what is the name of this you can go here we have surrounded surrounded with the scroll pan okay so that is why it, it, it is not saying but you can see inside that this is a table so I am just keeping table itself as my name so again go back here let me paste the entire code we just I typed okay now we have to refer that component so table dot set set model select that set model and inside you have to refer earlier I mentioned DB utils that you have to refer it here DB utils dot then you can select the first option that is the res result set to uh, table model and inside you have to refer RS RS is referred here result set and the query will be executing in the prepared statement and it goes here and it will check what is the query exactly and then the connection is already open and that's it okay all right then uh, sometimes you need to give the um, one uh, bracket here okay if, if it is not there you can give so under catch block um, what I have done here is uh, I've given a message also first uh, something so this one we need to remove uh, let me put it to itself okay because when you click that uh, uh, fetch data button so it's I think it's not required to get uh, any uh, messages okay let me see how this are going to work like this okay if I click directly what's going to happen look already I have stored some value and it fetched automatically 
okay let me click add button it says first enter the record okay let me enter one record Raj Python programming C sharp maybe and then Java and click add it says stored successfully and again you click fetch data it comes automatically so this is how you can do how to display the record sets from the MySQL database and to show into your J table okay when you click uh, exit it asks some question say yes it will disappear okay thanks for watching this video see you in your in, in my next video and please subscribe to my channel to see further more codings yeah, on Java and uh, any other helps please leave your comments based on that I will give you the models and I will teach you thank you